Hi guys, so this is my mom's air condition and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, properly fill up if you are low on Freon or uh, 410A, they call it nowadays, right? There's a new one. So uh, I'm going to go over a few steps uh, that you need to take to be safe. You know, first make sure you're wearing proper PPE, safety glasses, um, you know, make sure you're wearing proper shoes and uh, just make sure you're safe first. Um, second thing. You need to have the proper equipment so this is my uh, equipment that i purchased you know this is the yellow jacket one you definitely need to have a uh, quick charge this is the brand that you can pick up uh, amazon sells it you know both of them you can buy it from amazon or any uh, this is made by imperial so yellow jacket that's the brand for this gate set and uh right now i'm reading uh, so i'm gonna i'm basically i'm gonna show you the basics of this you know so um, hopefully you have a little bit understanding of how this whole thing works so um, on any HVAC system you know we have a high pressure line and a low pressure line so um, or sometimes they call it liquid line or gas line so the the thin one there are two lines you know there's a thicker one and there's a thin one so the thin one is a liquid line and this is a high pressure line this is the one that normally have a, a dryer so this is a dryer which is you can call it a filter dryer um, you know and sometimes and I'm suspecting that my filter dryer is leaking, you know, because it's quite rusted and it's a minor leak. Um, so we're going to tackle that later on, but I'm just going to show you in this video how to properly charge the system. Um, now, I'm not going to go over the other methods, you know, which is, you know, you need to require acquire that knowledge, you know, of uh, subcooling and things like that. So this is kind of like the basics connections and the charging process. And then in later video, I'll show you guys, uh, you know, about the subcooling and things like that. But um, on this one, what you need to do is uh, connect your gauges properly. So this is uh, the high pressure, the red gauge, you know, that's a sign of high pressure, you can call it, you know, connect that to the line that is the liquid line or the thin line on your system. And that you can connect it. You don't really need to have this. You know, I like having these because these have better controls. Again, these are also yellow jacket. You can purchase them. Uh, you know, this gives you better control by you can turning it on and off you know right now they're open uh, meaning there's gas in the line right so i like to leave them closed and connect it so once you're connecting it just make sure it's closed like this and you connect it and then you can uh, open this you know and once you open it basically you're allowing the charge to go into the line and it comes in right here to read on the gauge uh, same thing on the blue one you connect the blue one to the bigger line which is the suction line you can call it um, uh, on the suction line basically right now I'm connected you know I have the pressure going in right here and it's reading the suction line pressure you can see right here but the yellow one you don't really need it if you're only measuring pressure but if you're charging your system you need the yellow one because this is where you're introducing the charge so the charging one goes to your bottle and make sure it's on as you can see the valve is on and you also turn the valve on now you need to have the bottle upside down because you know when you charge the system you know this is how you charge it as a liquid um, so make sure it's tilted up and backwards you know it tells you this side this side for liquid right so we need to charge it if you put it this way now you're putting it uh, as liquid you know if you straighten this up this will be gas on top so right now you have all the liquid and the, the gas is on top you know so that's how you're charging now the charge basically comes in right here um, now for you to charge your system you need to you cannot pour all the liquid into your compressor because that's going to damage your compressor so that's why you have this quick charge and what this does it, it kind of converts that um, you know pressure of the liquid you know and converts it into gas and then kind of seeps it into the system as gas uh, so these are the pressure and uh, now if your air condition is uh, kind of freezing on the coil you know that's that's an indication right there this should be you know if it's 40 as you can see you know if it's really low then the pink one is the one that we are looking at on both of them because the pink is this guy right so in the next video that I'm gonna go over later on uh, I'm gonna show you the supercharging method where you have to read the gauges you know and uh, 
to charge the system all you do is basically you leave this one off this one off the both are off right now nothing is on um, and to charge the system basically we're gonna make sure first we purge the line now when, you, when I say purge the line purging meaning so you have to take all the air out from the system right so once you connect your hoses you're gonna have air right I mean that's air is everywhere right so you have the air in the hoses you have to make sure you release those the air um, and for doing that once you connect it you have to open up this hose and once you open this hose whatever air is in this line is gonna get pushed in with the gas right and all the air you need to what you do you need to come here and you just open it just a little bit there you go and I've already purged my um, all my hoses so that's why you saw the gas coming out right away but when when I was purging it I saw air coming out and all of a sudden I, then I saw a gas coming out right and it just a little bit you know that you're allowed to do that you know per the law you can't really just release the gas in the air but for purging it, it is allowed you know just a little bit uh, you do that to all three hoses just make sure that one is on you purge this line same way I've already done that and then you purge uh, this one the exact same way right at the bottom uh, you won't be able to purge it right here you know so you have to do it at, right at the bottom uh, once all your lines are purged that's when you start getting into charging your system so right now everything is good to go all my valves are open and now we can charge the system now to charge the system basically you have to open up this valve a little bit and uh, you have to do it slowly um, if you don't have this you can still charge the system just by doing it little by little you know it's just you're risking to damage your compressor with this device this prevents any mistake that you may make so this will reduce that um, liquid entering your compressors you know so that's kind of like a safety device that protects you you know but still with this device I like doing it slowly and as you can see as I'm charging the system you'll see my pressure kind of increasing on, on here which tells me that the system is being charged there you go as I'm charging the system this thing starts getting cooler and cooler you can see my temperature will increase and basically what I'm doing is I'm opening it and closing it opening it and closing it as you can see it's getting close to see the heat increasing on this side before I hardly had much heat so now it's uh, telling me that the system is being charged properly as you can see now it's more closer and it's increasing the pressure which is good so it's a very good sign so again I'm not gonna cover the uh, process of doing the sub cooling method you know on this particular one I have to do sub cooling because I have a TXV that's a completely separate process uh, if you really don't know this I would highly recommend watching some video understanding the TXV system versus the uh, uh, orifice the fixed orifice that we have and uh, you know that'll be covered under another video but this video was basically how to do the setup and how to properly charge the system so um, that's pretty much it guys you know um, basically we keep charging the system the same exact way and we just keep monitoring the temperature um, for the sub cooling or whatever however your system needs to be charged uh, with that method so with that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video and then guys hopefully this video helps you guys with the basic setups and if you like it please subscribe to my channel and like the video and I'm gonna leave a couple of links in the description below for some other videos so hopefully that helps you thanks for watching